I was able to talk to her. For, I think the first date started at 4 a.m. and finished at 3 a.m. It was, um, and she wouldn't leave, basically. I had to kind of kick her out. It's about time to go to bed now. So she, that was um, very interesting to see some sort of supermodel you know, not wanting to leave me. Given the, the trip, I met roughly, I was scheduled to meet a uh, half dozen girls sort of thing and I only, I basically stopped after the first several girls because the one I really wanted was the first girl I met um, and she was very, very interested in me. So what I see is that um, in this experience, I met uh, roughly four, four to five women, um, but I could tell that the very first girl, which was my favorite, uh, my, my preferred choice at the beginning, um, was very well, um, how do you say? Contact. Correct. So I w Chemistry. Correct. Unfortunately for the other ladies, um, they were all nice looking, talked well, uh, and they really tried to, you know, connect with me. You know, some tried to hold hands and things like that. And unfortunately I was... Um, just I, stuck with one lady. Yeah, the, the first lady. So the first lady just... You were crazy about her. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, so it kind of made it really difficult to um, meet other ladies because my, 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 my mindset was focused on just the one and it felt like I was kind of like cheating on the first one. So, and I wasn't comfortable. And, you know, she was the first one I, I met. Um, she was, you know, extremely nice. You know, took me places, took me shopping. And she's... I could tell from her that she was quite she's quite wealthy. So um, one one perception some people have is that Ukrainian women are poor. You know they they're poverty stricken. They need to find a foreign man to be saved. Um, but um, uh, this lady was in particular uh, extremely rich. Um, several businesses, very big house, uh, multiple cars, and they're like very expensive Mercedes Benzes and things like that. All brand new. So she wasn't interested in my money. And then, you know, I never had a fear of, you know, being cheated by her or having the, the wrong intentions of being with me. So it um, made me more comfortable to talk with her. What was um, quite important for me in choosing the, my, my partner in this case was is that she shared extreme interest in the same areas that I'm particularly interested in. So, you know, several topics like Bitcoins and um, financial markets, um, sports, she was also quite interested and actually probably more um, professional or more knowledgeable in the areas than I am. So and especially information technology, IT and things like that, much more, um, I guess, um, very well versed, very well, um, I guess, like as I said, in, uh, knowledgeable in those areas. So I believe that um, with um, the, the ladies I met here that, I never thought that any of the ladies were really meeting me for the wrong reasons. They all had the right intentions. You know, um, I never really talked about what I do. I don't really, I never talked about what I have. And so they really don't know. I could be, you know, quite unlucky, no money, you know, uh, unemployed. It, it wasn't there. They weren't interested. They're just checking to see if I was a nice guy. Do I keep them interested? And what I think was quite important is to actually talk more than, you know, the uh, you know, normally when you meet someone I met in Odessa in the previous experience, it was one hour and they kind of had a hard stop at one hour. Cut, cut, cut. Right. They and, cor correct. So they had like a really tight schedule. You had to meet this girl on this time and it wasn't really flexible. So, you know, if I had to meet multiple girls on the one day, it couldn't be a bit difficult to build up a rapport, a, a, you know, some sort of connection with the ladies. Um, and so, yeah, it was quite interesting to be able to talk for, you know, 10 hours and the second girl I talked for six hours and seven hours and, you know, where I didn't like a girl, you know, I could see that she was, or they were quite very interested, they, you know, reading someone's body language, it's quite easy to tell if a girl likes you, um, obvious signs for it, and they keep the conversation going, but, you know, where I didn't like the girl, I kind of cut it short, you know, kind of rejected it in a subtle way. And it just ended there. But I gave each lady respect. You know, uh, each lady I talked to for at least two hours. Uh, if I really liked it, it went on for ten. So, yeah. 
so as far as I understood, uh, probably you, not probably, even for sure, you had chances with all the ladies you met, with all your chosen ladies. So actually all girls were interested in you just because you choose your top one, the best one. Uh, so in this case, can I ask you, uh, do you have some specific difficulties? Because you, I know you spent much time with your lady, and uh, do you have some difficulties in relations with her, which you think you need to be think over still, or maybe to overcome? So, uh, yes. Yeah, so.